Today, the MicroFreak has now a new firmware, the firmware 5.0. It opens up to a new thing that we never had in the MicroFreak, samples playback. You can actually load your own samples. Of course, it comes with a bunch of them, but you can load your own. So that's pretty big. There's four engines to play with the samples. There's the sample playback, which is kind of a normal playback. There's the cloud, there's the scan, there's the hit. They all have different ways to play back with the sound. So we're going to go in and play with it so we understand how it does work and what they do differently. But before we go there, just remember two numbers we want to talk about. The maximum sampling time is 230 seconds. So you can load whatever you want until you get to the max of 230 seconds of sampling, which is a lot for just one oscillator if you want. So pretty much would, enough for doing what we want. The next thing is the fact that when you actually play back any sound in any of the four sample engines, it's a four note polyphonic synthesizer at that point. So it's not limited to paraphonic two notes. Now it's four notes when you're in sample playback. Another pretty big deal. Let's just dive in and play with the sound and you'll see how to make it work and how you get to the samples. Let's do that. So let's start with the init sound. What do we have? We go into the type and we change until we get to sample. Now sample the first one. Think about these three points here. You get the start point. You have the start, which is this. This is the way you start, so you're basically changing. And this goes from zero, the real start, to 100, so the end of the sample. Now the other part, the second one, let's put it back to in the middle, in the middle of the sound. This one is a length, 100, so it plays back the full length. Let's say it's 100%, kind of. If you go back to the middle, you see now you're just playing 2.5 of the sound. You, but you can also go minus. So then you have the length, but playing back backward, starting from the start point. If you say, I'm going to start later. Now if you go closer to the beginning, it will be louder. If you want the full thing. Okay, so let's go back to, let's say, this in here, and some forward playing. The last one is the loop. So if it's off, just play this back and that's it. If it's on, here that's the length of the loop. And you can have it longer. Actually, it's not longer, it's shorter. It's the length of the loop. Like everything, you can assign an LFO to this and create these weird evolving sound if you want. So that's for sample. But then the question is, how do we choose the sound? Well, we press on shift. 
and you turn the type. Still can change all of these the way I want. And still move the type now is just a sample selection. And remember that if you press paraphonic when you're in any type of the sample based sound you get Oh, because I'm in looped. So we get that capacity of playing four voices. Still, it goes through one analog filter, just to be clear for everybody. So let's actually try, there's a bunch of them. We can be really weird with that. Let's actually try the next one. So I have to go back into shift and move type and then again scan grains. Now scan grains, you get three controllers again. Get the scan speed. Okay. Let's go to density zero and chaos zero. Now if you remember what grains are, if you don't, I have a video where I talk about granular synthesis. But the logic is that the grain in granular are a bunch of frequencies together that you play. And then here, you decide how you go through scanning through the wave that you have. So scan here. If you put it at zero, it stays at the beginning. You see, you always hear that loop of the beginning. So it plays back a group of grain and by playing with this, you're playing with the density of the grain and the length of the grain. So not a lot of them. If I move later, further down, and change the speed. It says, let's say I put it at a speed of one, which is the normal speed of that sample. Go back to density of zero. Change density. And chaos is giving randomization over the grain themselves, the length and how many of them, and when they start. So if I slow it down. You hear the grain kind of shuffling. It's a very lo-fi art, you know, it has this digital artifacts type of sound. And again, if we change the sound now to cloud grains. Now it's, the cloud is the size of the grain and how many grains you have, the cloud grain. And start is where you start from. And chaos is, well, kind of where in the random and the randomization the grain will be. Uh, 
and the last one is hit grain. So this one is very rhythmic. It will loop, but with an impact in it. So any type of pulsating sound, let's actually try some of the sound just so you have an idea of. So it's just a playback for the end with the loop. So it's just taking the end of the sample and it's looping it. You could actually, and it's looping it backward. Okay, next one. Starting late in the song, in the sound, again, backward with a loop. Forward. Again, not the cheater, but it see it's really easy to play with it in the guns. So this one is cloud grains. You start at the beginning, very little density. If you had more. And you could have this on LFO, just this one. So sometimes it becomes noisy. And then. Let's say you keep it this with an LFO that brings it every, I don't know, one, one bar. So at the end of the bar, it becomes noisy. And then becomes. Notice that this one. It changes. Because the key is assigned to the timber. So as you press the key, the timber here changes the speed of the grain. So the hit grain. It creates a different rhythmic every time. From this sound, we'll create it. So again, pretty cool too. And this one changes this. And again, the key ARP is assigned to the wave. So this one is a hit grain. No, it's a cloud grain. Change the start, you're losing the attack. You have the cloud. How many grains you have, the density of them. You want to be chaotic? Less grain. You hear them separately. Actually, they're also less of them. And shorter. No, this is shorter. 
This is longer. Okay, next one. If you want to change the speed here, this is a scan, this is a scan one. So you're going to have the same speed, but a different speed, a different pitch. If you want to see the whole thing of every other preset, I'm going to do another video just for all the presets that came with the factory, the new factory. That is it. That's the firmware update number five for the MicroFreak with the sample functions. I hope you like it. I find it brilliant. I like the fact that they keep on adding features to this synthesizer. It's just a weird beast that can do so much. It's, it's fun. I like it. I, like always, stay safe, make more music, and see you soon. Cheers.